The Rambo attack is a groundbreaking new way to steal data from air-gapped computers, systems that are usually thought to be completely secure because they have no direct connection to the internet or other networks. Hi there, I'm Nathan from Station X. We're a community of cybersecurity experts and learners offering training, mentorship, and resources to help you build your cybersecurity skills and advance your career. So in this attack, researchers have found a way to turn the RAM itself, random access memory, into a radio transmitter, sending data out wirelessly by exploiting the electromagnetic radiation generated by the memory's operations. So let's break this down a bit. When data moves through your computer's RAM, the high-speed switching of electrical signals naturally emanates a small amount of electromagnetic radiation. Now, we're talking tiny, so normally harmless radio waves that we usually ignore. But in the Rambo attack, malware is specifically designed to manipulate how this data moves in the memory. So essentially encoding the electromagnetic emissions to create a radio signal that can be interpreted by a nearby receiver. So for those of you that are watching and not just listening, you can now see a demonstration of the attack. So the researcher is transmitting a picture of Optimus Prime from one air gap machine to another. But for those just listening, imagine this. Malware on the infected machine is forcing the memory to generate specific electromagnetic pulses. These radio waves carry the data in the form of binary code. And with just a simple antenna and software defined radio receiver, the attacker picks up the image like magic without any cables, Wi Fi, or networks involved. So, how exactly does this work on a technical level? Well, the RAM is essentially modulated to send out bits of data using techniques like on-off keying or OOK or Manchester encoding, which are common methods for transmitting digital data through radio waves. For example, in OOK modulation, the presence of a signal means a binary one, while the presence of nothing, absence, means zero. So these signals can then be decoded into meaningful data, whether it's text, encryption keys, or in this case, in this example, a JPEG of Optimus Prime. The transfer speed is about a thousand bits per second in this example, which is slow, but fast enough for critical small data like encryption keys or passwords. An RSA encryption key of 4096 bits can be transmitted in just over four seconds. So imagine the consequences if this key was protecting sensitive, encrypted, stored data elsewhere, like in the cloud. So the attack takes advantage of what we would consider a side channel attack. This is a side channel attack. The radio signals emitted from the memory itself and turns it into a powerful data exfiltration tool. The fact that this can be done on an air gap machine, which is supposed to be the most secure type of system, is what makes it so interesting and also alarming. So def defending against this, what do we do? Well, first, there's uh, what's known as Tempest shielding, which involves wrapping sensitive machines in electromagnetic shielding to prevent radio signals from leaking out. But this isn't cheap, and it isn't always practical for all environments. Another option is radio frequency jamming, or simply monitoring for unusual radio emissions. But Let's not forget the basics. Physical access should be tightly controlled. The malware has to get on the system somehow, and you can 
limit obviously physical access to the machine. You can limit your USB port or using secure update mechanisms can prevent the infection from even getting on there in the first place. So why does this matter? What's interesting about it? Well, it's because air gap systems are often considered safe, you know, but the Rambo attack and others like it proves that we can never truly let our guard down. Every component of the system, even its electromagnetic emissions, could be a potential attack vector. The lessons for those of us in cybersecurity are pretty clear. Isolation isn't enough when you have a system that is particularly sensitive and is particularly important. Physical security and awareness of side channel attacks like this must be part of a defense strategy. So thanks for tuning in today. If you want to geek out more about the technical details of the Rambo attack, check out our show notes. And as always, keep learning, keep protecting, and stay ahead of the curve.